Live Full Conference Next is Now. 2024 Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International Conference in the Big Easy, New Orleans, Louisiana, July 9th through the 11th. Join presiding Bishop Joseph W. and Dr. Stephanie Walker III and founder and co-founder Bishop Paul S. and Deborah B. Morton along with Bishop Jonathan Woods Sr., Elder Jasmine M. Robinson, Bishop William Murphy III, Dr. Linda Willis, Bishop Bobby L. McCarter Sr., Pastor John Hanna, Consecration Service with Founder Bishop Paul S. Morton, and our Worship Encounter with International Presiding Bishop Joseph W. Walker III at the New Orleans Convention Center. Visit fullgospelconference.org today. The only Bible that some people will ever read is your life. There's a lot of folk in church who are not lovable because they don't have enough Jesus in them. Dr. T. Dubber and First Lady Jasmine Robinson oversee as Bishop Paul S. and Dr. Deborah B. Morton from Changing Generation invites you to worship with us in person in the sanctuary or join us virtual at our new Decatur location, 4185 Snapfinger Woods Drive, Sundays at 11 a.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Or worship with us in person in the sanctuary or join us virtual from Greater St. Stephen, Sundays at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. One church in two states, Atlanta, CAGnow.org, and New Orleans, houseofgreater.org. Coming up on Greater Change Ministry. So you can see why it makes a difference when your basis of confession is the word of God. It's not just mechanical, as some people would suggest, but it is actually a spiritual operation. You got to put the spirit over the mind. When you put the spirit over the mind, when you put the spirit over your emotion, something is going to happen. We're not playing church. We're not playing reading the Bible like it's some fairy tale. I believe that we can have what God says we can have. I believe that we can be what God says we can be. I believe that we can do what God says we can do. And when that happens, whew, access. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. From Changing a Generation Full Gospel Baptist Church in Decatur, Georgia, and Greater St. Stephen Full Gospel Baptist Church in New Orleans, Louisiana, one church in two states, pastored by Dr. T. Delbert Robinson, along with Elder Jasmine M. Robinson, and overseers Bishop Paul S. Morton and Dr. Deborah B. Morton welcomes you to the Greater Change Outreach Ministry. Now, prepare for a life-changing experience. Well, praise the Lord, and God bless you. Welcome to the Greater Change Telecast. I'm Bishop-elect T. Delbert Robinson. And I am Elder Jasmine Morton Robinson. Listen, you are in for such a treat today. Yes. You know what I love about the Greater Change Telecast? You just never know. You never know. What you may get. Yeah. This is just like, let's say it's a byproduct yeah. of the product. Yeah. So first of all, I want to invite you, if you haven't done it, follow us on all social media platforms. Yes. It will bless your life. These few moments we have with you, they pale in comparison to what the Lord does oh on a regular goodness. basis. Yes, yeah, so that's why we encourage you. We invite you to tap in. Tap into the worship experience. I promise you, you'll be blessed. Speaking of tapping in, yes. let's get ready 
to tap into the sanctuary right now. The word of the Lord is going forth and it's just for you. Don't go nowhere. Text somebody. Let them know greater change is on the air right now. We'll be back after this. John, the 15th chapter and verse 7 from the New Living Translation says, But if you remain in me, and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want, and it will be granted. Just for a little while today, I want to talk about access granted. Look at somebody. You can even put it in the chat. Just say access granted. Thank you, ushers. This is very, very important today, people of God, and I want you to understand Access will be granted because God will be involved in this. And what I love about the Lord, what he does, he gives us the access code. I have to get into the computer of my mind. But if I cannot get into the computer of my mind because I don't have the access code, I'm unable to get what I need from what God has for me. So the word says, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, then you have the will of God in you. Now this is the important part. Then you will have the will of God in you. Now let me make this clear. His word is his will. And his will is his word. Always remember that you must find the will of God before you start confessing or believing anything. So what you have to do, base your confession on scriptural promises. Not something you want. It has to be Scriptural promises. Can't be like a president who said, I was supposed to win the presidency, so since I didn't win, I'm going to overthrow the government and I'm going to just storm the Capitol. No, uh uh. It's got to be scriptural promises. That's what makes the difference in our lives. So when our confession is a promise of God, then you have God's word. So let me give you a password so that you can use the password to get access into the blessings that you have because if you really use this password and the instructions of the password, blessings will be granted. How do I get in? I'm going to give you everybody one password. You can even share it. This, this is a password you can share with other people. The password that I want to use today is SWIFT. If you want to get in to God's blessings where access is granted, Swift, stewarding wealth increases financial trust. The password is letting me know I've got to be a good manager of wealth 
that will increase with financial trust when God can trust you to do what you're supposed to do. Stewarding wealth, wealth, you know what wealth simply means? It's a great deal of resources that will be available to you. Wealth, don't, don't, don't just say, I got to be a, a millionaire to experience wealth. No, what God is getting ready to do, he wants to open up some major doors for you so that you're going to have access to resources that you never thought you would have access to. I mean, now this is why God designed it. This, this is why God designed it. The computer that has to go in your mind and to use the password so you can, you can get access to the blessings. Your words plus God's word works for you to cause the reality of the promise. When you work it, it works. Amen. I better say that again. When Amen. you work it, it works. You, you, you got to be involved in this. Not just, Lord, have your way, but Lord, I want to participate. I want to have, I want to put my faith in this. I want to put my trust in you in this and I believe that what I've been waiting for is about to happen. If you don't do your part, it won't work. Peter, Peter said God has given us the things that pertain unto life and godliness. And he gives it through the exceeding great and precious promises in his word. That's why the devil don't want you to get into the word of God. Because the devil knows if you get into the word of God and get access to the promises that are available for you, the devil said, I got you where I want you because you don't know how to get access to your blessing. You got access to 4185 Snap Finger Woods, but if you don't have access to the blessing, Today I'm speaking it in your life that it is yours. That's why Luke, Luke 6 and 38, this is what it says. It says, give and you will receive. Yeah, I don't believe that. Give and you will receive your gift will return to you in full. The blessing is going to come back to you full, but because it's full and I'm getting ready to operate in the overflow, I got to press it down. Shake it together to make room for more. Maybe I'm the only one here. Anybody else seeking more? Do you, do you really want more? The Bible says running over and poured into your lap because the amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Why don't you look at somebody say the amount you give will be the amount that you get back. This is one of those promises. Now let me make clear the promise. Not equal gifts, but equal sacrifice. Hallelujah. Listen, people of God, give and you will receive. But then I love, I love, I love 2 Corinthians 9 and 10. It says, for God is the one who provides seed for the farmer. Farmer didn't make the seed. God provided the seed. It's his seed for 
the farmer and then bread to eat, food to eat. In the same way, somebody say in the same way. In the, he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. I'm about to get some generous blessings. I'm not just talking about just making it through tomorrow. Oh, but I'm speaking in this place. Overflow. Oh, access granted. Don't tell me I can't get. I'm claiming it in your life if you believe this word. Why don't you just look at somebody tell them access granted. Access granted. Now listen. There's always, there's always some people who will say, yeah, but I know why you're giving. You're giving to get, and that's selfish. But the word of God, because you got access, the word of God says that if you give, it shall be given unto you. In other words, God furnishes the seed for the sower. Bread for your food. And multiplies your seed. If you sow it, sow it. The law of seed, time, and harvest is God's law all through the Bible. Genesis 8 and 28 says, as long as the earth remains, as long as there is an earth, there will be planting and harvest. I can stop right there. Planting and harvest. So if you need money, you plant money. If you need time, you plant some of you ain't got time for nobody. Just It's all about you. You ain't got time for nobody. But then when you need somebody to take time with you, you can't get them because the law is seed time and harvest. Oh, God, God's word is right as long as the earth remains. As, as long as the earth remains, there will be planting and harvest. It will multiply and come back to you. You don't have to go there, but Genesis 1, 11 and 12 tells us everything produces after its kind. Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on. Everything, everything. Everything. Everything produces after its kind. Yes, That's why if you mean, you produce after your kind. I, bet, I better leave that alone for some of y'all. You, you, you close up your spiritual computer. I better leave that alone. I want, I, I, I want you to keep access today because access is going to give you victory. Oh, but some still say, I know why you are giving. You are giving to give. Now, that's like walking up to a farmer and saying, oh, I know why you planting those bean seeds. You planting those bean seeds because you want more beans. Gabriel Union will tell you, yeah. I, I, 
I'm doing it because I need more from the Lord. They don't criticize the farmer because he plants. That's the law of seed time and harvest. So don't criticize those who are obedient to God's law in giving and sowing. And don't get mad at them when they have a harvest. Some of us can't stand folk with a harvest. I'm here to tell you, it does not matter who you are. You don't have to be a football player to get a harvest. You, you don't have to be a medical doctor to get a harvest. I speak it in your life. I don't care if you working at McDonald's. God will turn around and give you a harvest because I'm trusting him I'm, I'm trusting him with what I have you got to know that God is about to turn it around for you listen people of God listen people of God I want you to know Jesus said you live by every word of God God says the way you reap a harvest is to plant that's his way and he says that it works how could it be wrong for us to plant and expect to reap a harvest it's unscriptural to give and not expect to receive. You want something that's, that ain't the word of God? It's for you to give and not receive. So you need to speak it in your life. Lord, I'm giving to you and I expect a blessing. I expect to break through. I expect that all of my needs will be met. Oh God, oh God, you, you can choose to give that way. You can choose to give and say, well, Lord, I don't expect anything in return. I'm, I'm just trying to be humble. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't expect anything. Listen, be honest with God and just obey his word and say, now, Lord, you said if I give, it shall be given unto me good measure, pressed down, running over because of your word. I believe and I confess. That's it. I come to speak to somebody today. If you got it, if you got it, if you got it, I speak it over this place. I speak it in the virtual space. Access cranking. Go on in, get your blessing. Go on in and get your breakthrough. Go on in and receive what God has for you. I feel like preaching in this place. I stop by to tell somebody, won't go make a way. Somehow, people may not come when you want him to come, but he's right on time. I tell you, I don't care if it's you got you got a Bible. It, 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 if it's on your phone, if the word of God is on your phone, I tell you to just, uh, to just raise whatever you got that's celebrating the word of God and tell them, I got the access code. I got the access code. I want people to ask you, why are you so blessed? Because I got the access code. Speak it. Bless coming in. Bless going out. Now all you gotta do, because access is granted if you got the access code. Now look at somebody tell them just work it, work it, work it, work it. Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. I'ma keep on planning. Work it. They can call me crazy. You giving again? Work it. Work it. Work it. Access is granted. Ah, I believe it. It makes you want to shout. So I woke up when I think about the goodness of this. Oh, 
We told you, you never know what or who you're going to get. I know that you've been blessed. And listen, if you've heard the word, maybe you need an encouraging prayer to push you forward that you can activate the word that you've heard. So, Pastor, will you pray for the people? Stretch your hand toward us. Let's make a point of contact. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now for my sister. I pray for my brother that because of this word, you will meet them right where they are. We thank thank you, you. your word will never go out and return void. So fill them up until they overflow and we'll give you praise, honor and glory for it now. By the strong name of Jesus we pray, amen. Amen. Well, guess what? (gasps) We're out of time. Time We're out of talk, we're out of text, (laughs) but you know what to do, keep it locked right here. And in the meantime, and in the between time, until this time, next time, you can keep on making it a, a greater, greater change. change. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Next week on Greater Change Ministries. A lot of times your enemies think you they're doing something, but it just gives you a bigger victory. I wish I had somebody to shout. They think they're doing something, trying to stop you, trying to block you. Come on, don't want you to say nothing about the Lord on the job. But God said, let them do it. Don't remember, don't forget rather your rod. He said, I'm going to take that, what they're doing, and give you victory over it. Clap your hands. The victory becomes bigger when you attack me the more.